Hello, hello. This is going to be a video about adding links to your page. I made this, uh, what you're about to see, uh, in spring 2020, so just after everybody went online. Uh, and from the sound of my voice, it was very early in the morning. Uh, so the page is going to look a little bit different, uh, but the skills are going to be exactly the same. So enjoy, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. So you'll see that I have a link here on my page, and it's pretty generic. This is what the default let me make it a little bigger. This is what the default link looks like uh, you know, for your browsers, this blue underlined thing. But it doesn't need to be that way. Uh, in your code, you can style your links. You can style the basic link how you want it to look on the page when someone goes there. You can style how it is visit looks when it is visited. That is, uh, the browser will remember when you visited a page, so it, will, it could show a different color or something else uh, for vid links that you have gone to in the past. Uh, you can show what it will look like when it's hovered, that is when your, your mouse has uh, hovered over it, and you can show what it looks like when it is active. Okay, so that means when someone is actually pressing down on it. And each one of these things can be styled. Um, in order for these to work, they actually need to be in this order. Link, visited, hover, active. And you can think of this as the acronym, um, love, it. Okay. Um, you can think of it, this as this acronym for love for the L, V for visited, H for hover, and A for active. It's sort of the trick to remember what order to put those in. So for my... Um, for my link, let's say that I want it, the color to be, I'm just going to make this purple uh, to be able to see it, and um, no. okay. And for my hover, I like to sort of style it in a different order. Hover. Here, cornflower blue text decoration underline. Okay. Uh, active color Let's say I want to want it's active. Let's try putting background color in. I'll choose uh, antique white and see if that works. And I want the text. None. And then for my visited color, I'll just do color. I'm just going to do a lighter color of purple. Let's say, just do dark orange just for fun. Okay. So this is what we expect the link to look like. We expect it to be purple colored with a text decoration uh, um, none. So that means no underlining. Um, Color for visited, it means if we go back to another time, will be dark orange. Text for hovering will have color change with a different underline. And then when I click on it, I want to see a little background color. Okay. Hope you save that. Upload it. Styles folder. Here, refresh. Okay. So now we can see that it's purple. If I hover over it, it changes, right? If I click on it, we see that the background color appears, and it's going to take me to St. Joe's. Um, I'll come back, and now we can see the visited color has changed to orange, okay, just like we wanted to. Now, when I hover over it again, it will turn that dark, I'm sorry, if I hover over it again, it will turn that cornflower blue with the underline. If I click on it, it will have the background color, and like I said, go to the page. I put this in the main area uh, because this is going to be how I'd like it to appear across all different screen sizes. I do not need to replicate this as we're, I'm going forward into uh, the other ones because just to make sure things aren't redundant on the page. However, if you do want to change anything based on your individual screen sizes, all you have to do is make something a little bit different over here. Uh, but there really isn't much need to do that as long as you've got the color scheme down. That's great. People have been asking about how can I start integrating some of the colors from my, their design personas, uh, because a lot of the pages now are pretty black and white, and we're looking for ways to add some accent colors. Your navigation bar will be one place to do that. 
uh, your links are now another place to do that as well. So if I had other links on my page, well, I just have this one, but you'll see that it will start. It would start to add some color uh, to the pages themselves. Okay. All right. And if you have questions about that, please uh, do send me an email.